Ella Wall first met Duff the horse a couple years ago. The 17-year-old rides the Kentucky-born thoroughbred several times a week. And now she's taught him to paint using his nose and his tongue. Now we have to ask him what colors he wants to use. If Tuff touches a paint with his nose, she puts it on the yeah. canvas. After adding several colors, she covers the canvas in plastic. Then Wall coats it with some edible oil the horse licks, which mixes the wet paint underneath. That camelina oil also acts as a supplement for the retired race horse's joints. Once the plastic is removed, Herschel. voila, it's a beautiful painting. If I get the paint bottles out of my locker, he gets excited. He knows that he gets to paint. He loves being an artist. It's his life's work. Wall got the idea after seeing it on TikTok. Yeah, I did. So far, she has helped Tuff paint three dozen pieces and sells them for $25 to $60. That money goes back into caring for the horse, who boards at a stable near Borden. Wall says Tuff has a strong artistic point of view. So I just put some blue on and I took it over to him and he just looked at me. He would not touch it. He wouldn't make the painting because he knew that that blue was on it and he didn't tell me to use that blue. <laughs> the pair has also developed a unique relationship. Wall cares for Tuff and helps him let go some of his nervous habits like biting and head bobbing. Brianna Del Schneider owns the horse. She says Wall, who has Tourette's syndrome, gets as much from it as Tuff does. It's a mutually beneficial relationship. She became Tuff's person. And uh, sometimes with uh, Ella's Tourette's, um, she's unable to speak. And so Tuff is, allows her to speak again. She'll come out and all of a sudden be like, yay, I can talk again. And <laughs> he just unlocks so much in Ella. I don't do very much. I don't have a job. I don't do any school clubs. I spend all of my time here with him. Wall says she and Tuff are glad to have found each other. And she hopes they can keep spending time creating art together. Pratish Tayal, CBC News, Borden.